In this video, we're going to learn how to calculate the electric field from a finite line charge. And so to set up the problem, let's say we have a line charge with charge density lambda. So that's lambda is the charge per unit length of an object. And let's say that the total length of this line charge is L, and we want to find the electric field at point P, which is at halfway between the rod and at a distance H above the above the rod, so along the y direction. So how do we start this problem? Well, first, is there any symmetry? And this is the very first question we should always ask when trying to find the answer to these types of physics problems. In this case, yes, there is symmetry. So in particular, because there's as much charge on the left as there is on the right, the electric fields will end up canceling each other. So if I have a little bit of charge here, call this dq, this, the electric field due to this piece of charge will be pointing in this direction, but that has a partner on the opposite end of the line charge, which has an electric field that points in this direction, and so their x components will cancel each other out, but their y components will add, so this is the kind of symmetry that makes this problem easier. In particular, there is no EX component. So EX for this overall distribution is going to be zero. And so we only need to find EY, the Y component of the electric field. And so because we use symmetry, our problem got twice as easy just at the very beginning. Now, because this rod or this line charge is finite, we're not going to be able to use something like Gauss's law here because that requires we have an, some type of infinite symmetry. So we're going to have to use integration. In particular, we're going to have to add up all of the little dqs, figure out what their electric field is, and then sum all of those electric fields. And in particular, we want to find the DEY, or the, the EY component that's due to a little charge DQ, so find DEY from DQ at some arbitrary point X along the X-axis, and so this, I'll call this distance here X. So this here is DE, and we can figure out the Y component by looking at just by using trigonometry. So if we call this angle theta, then this angle is theta, this is DEY, then DEY is just equal to DE, our, the magnitude of our electric field, times cosine of theta. But because this theta here is the same as this theta, we can figure out what cosine of theta is in terms of our variable x and l and h. So in particular, cosine of theta, we know is just equal to the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And here the adjacent side, well, that's just h. So this is equal to h divided by our hypotenuse, which is this this thing here, I'll call this R. So H over R. And R, we can use the Pythagorean theorem, is just H squared plus, and then what's this distance here? So between L over 2 and X. Well, this is L over 2 minus X squared. Now, strictly speaking, uh, if we wanted this to be valid for to the left of L over 2 and to the right of L over 2, we should take the absolute value of that quantity. But since we're squaring it, it's not going to matter because squaring turns a negative value into a positive. So we don't need to worry about that. Now all we need to figure out is DE. But we know what the electric field from a point charge is. That's just K times Q, which here would just be DQ divided by r squared, or h squared plus l over 2 minus x squared. And the reason we can use the equation for a point charge is that this is exactly a point charge. It's a differential element. It's a tiny, tiny little piece of charge. So it's a great 
it's absolutely fantastic to call that a point charge. Now we can combine everything to give us DEY. So this is just equal to DE, which we said was K DQ divided by H squared plus L over two minus X squared, and then cosine theta, which we just have as H divided by the square root of H squared plus L over two minus X squared. And now to find EY, all we need to do is integrate, so add up all of the little DEYs. So we now integrate this side, and we're starting our integration where our line charge starts, which is at zero, and we're ending it where our line charge ends, which is at L. So our bounds of integration are zero to L. Now, because this is an integral in terms of x, we need to turn this dq into something that has dx in it. And in particular, because we know that this has a charge per unit length lambda, our dq is just lambda dx. So dx is a tiny little bit of length. Lambda is the charge per unit length. And so lambda dx is the charge of a tiny little bit of that line charge. And so we can replace dq here with lambda dx. Now we're just about ready to actually do this integral. We can simplify things a little bit by pulling out k is a constant, lambda is a constant, and h is a constant. So we've got k lambda h, integral from 0 to l. And then in the numerator, we've got h squared plus l over 2 minus x squared. And we've got a square root of the same thing. So we end up with dx over h squared plus l over 2 minus x squared, all to the 3 halves. So this is the integral that we need to solve. And to actually solve this integral, we can just plug this into our favorite integral calculator. I use Wolfram Alpha. Uh, and you can evaluate this integral, and you'll get that this is equal to L over h squared times the square root of h squared plus L over 2 squared. It's kind of gross, but, you know, it's, it's an answer. It's a reasonable answer. And then we multiply this by k lambda h. And so one of the h's cancels, and we're left with k lambda l divided by h times h squared plus l over 2 squared. And this is the y component of the electric field. Now, remember, if we were asked to give the vector electric field of this whole of the whole line charge, we would also need to specify the x component. And in particular, we said that by symmetry, the x component was zero. So this here is our answer. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated, and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind-the-scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like-minded community, Click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.